to San Diego. To this trip is going to be about rebuilding transmissions. I'm a little nervous because I don't have my typical set of tools. You think it's going to work, babe? So hopefully we'll get lucky and we have the right tools packed up. I think I have everything I need, but I've never done this job before. Wish me luck. Hey babe, how much of owning a boat is cleaning it? A lot. When you only come once a month, we spend the first day cleaning. Yeah, it's just dirty. What do we got? Poop. Lots of bird poop. It looks good though. What's the best scrubber? Here are the options we have for getting bird poop off. You need to ask the boat cleaner. And none of it works. What are you doing? Getting wet? Yes! <laughs> <I'm> getting wet. <laughs> Okay, so that's a little electric pump that I got on Amazon. I don't know if I said that or recorded it before, because sometimes when I'm recording, I turn the camera on, but I'm meaning to turn it on and then I turn it off. Yeah. Anyways, it works pretty good. So I'm using it to drain the bilge into that um, milk jug, because it's oily bilge. And I'm going to also use it to drain the oil out of the engine. And that's Katie, she's coming to watch. Supposed to be the cinematographer, but she's not doing her job. She just got out of the shower. Meanwhile, we got something going on in here, getting ready for a Rummy Cube Challenge. Yeah, look what, and look what, look what we're walking. PBS Kids. Oh, we lost Truman. Right there. Hello. <laughs> so now we have about two gallons of water we build water. Not ready to go out. That's ready to go out. We can. Let's figure out where to take that. Um, and then we've got, I've got to mop up all this oil. I'm going to see what I can find with my magnetic probe. Dropped a screw. Look what I found. This is the plug that fell out and caused our oil to blow all of its engine. I mean, <laughs> to cut their engine to blow all this oil. Look at this, it goes right here. It goes right here. Look, look at this, it goes right there. Oh my gosh, it's a miracle. Dad Ugh. actually ordered a replacement plug, but this is what he ordered. I ordered that. That's clearly the wrong thing. Not the same thing. Well, it's a miracle here. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you brought that magnetic thing. My magnetic probe. Here's what we're gonna do. You're always like probing things. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna glue it back in with this. This is Engine RDD gasket maker. So we're going to, we're gonna just, cause I'm not, that's super bad. If this thing comes out, this thing doesn't do anything except for close up an oil well. So I'm gonna put a tiny bit of this gasket maker on here. This is never coming off again. Somebody 
knows about these legends can tell me I'm doing something wrong. All right, so I got the old one off. There's the place it goes right there between the exhaust and the exhaust manifold on the diesel. And then this one's gonna go back in its spot. And hopefully the gasket is in good shape. I think I'll put a little RTV on it. Make it seal up good. What a pain. Actually, I might even do this after I pull the gearbox because all these hoses being off, Yep. Yep, this is not going back on until after I pull that gearbox off. The gearbox is coming off too for new cone clutches, so this guy can wait till later. Put that right there. Okay, lots more work to do. Okay, so we took the exhaust mixing elbow out. Now this has to come out because this is getting rebuilt. That's the transmission? Yep. This is the gearbox or transmission. It's a it's called a cone clutch transmission. This is a Kanzaki. Kanzaki. Uh, Kanzaki KM35A transmission. And which I have to tear this apart now and replace something called the cone clutches on the inside. And the guy told me, the guy, he said if you can rebuild a Volkswagen engine. At Just engine, Catamarans. Some guy, Just Catamarans, told me if I could rebuild a Volkswagen engine, I could rebuild a Kanzaki gearbox. So you know, this seemed to take, I don't know how long that took, three hours, two hours? To take that off? Yeah, to take, well, to take this all apart, maybe an hour and a half, I don't know. I don't know how long you were working front on it since I got back. Honestly, the oil change took a long time too. Okay. So I'm going to try to get this thing out of here and up to a table. We should probably find some cardboard to spread out on the table. So maybe I won't even, tomorrow. maybe I'll just leave it right here. I'll just leave it right here until tomorrow. Ah, oh, stretch the bag. This is cramped quarters. So, so far I just needed a 13 millimeter socket. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe down below.